Hi guys. So today it's a beautiful Thursday morning and I've decided to come to the beach and walk because of late I've been so lazy in exercising or just doing any physical activity and I'm so blessed I have the privilege of this beautiful you know beach uh, the sea that I can you know use it and why not take advantage of it people pay thousands of dollars to just come and have this view and I'm so grateful that I have the privilege of living nearby so I said okay fine you know what just start going for your walks of late I've been so like sort of committed or I don't know if it's commitment or it's just uh, just look at the Sun guys oh my god it's so beautiful this is the view guys I'm on the beach this is like my walking path my trail <laughs> anyways as I was saying the reason why I've started walking is because of late I've been feeling my body is not like when I wake up in the morning I just feel my body is so is so and my knees are like tight when I go down like in, for example when I'm bending or I'm trying to do I can't even you know honestly I can't even do one push-up I mean uh, squat I can't even I'm not able honestly I'm not even able to do like a, one squat because my knees are locked tight I feel so you know tired and restless and all those things so I'm like you I think the best thing is to start walking or exercising I had paid for the gym membership but unfortunately I wasn't able to utilize it as supposed to be because as again I got I'm not that disciplined and then I didn't get you know to take the full potential of this the gym and I decided I think walking is the best like it's nothing tedious like the gym I know things gym and all the good things that you're supposed to do in your life that add benefit in your life are very difficult to cope with so it's it's not easy like the bad unhealthy things are easy to do like it's easy to drink and eat and overeat and eat sweet things and all that but you know when it comes to the healthy stuff like keeping fit going to the gym and you know eating you know good you know nice food and healthy food and doing the diets it's it's really really difficult guys so anyways and also I decided that since I'll be walking why not document it because also like like for the past eight months I've not posted on YouTube and uh, I think because I was not taking YouTube seriously like I was not a full-time content creator it was it's not my job anyway but I'm I'm thinking why not just start posting because initially when I started my channel it's a lifestyle and travel channel initially when I started it it was just a travel channel and um, I was just posting my you know my short shorts uh, travel clips it wasn't meant to be like a full-time content creation job but then my channel is also a lifestyle channel so the reason why I stopped also posting, I, I guess, is because I, I, I can't, I'm not able to travel all year round. But I can also create content in lifestyle. But lifestyle generally is a huge, you know, niche. So I've not yet, lifestyle generally is a huge topic. So I've not yet got what my niche is. And I'm thinking why not maybe try to post if I'm traveling, I can post the travel vlogs. If I'm not, then just share whatever I'm doing in my life every day. Like, 
if it is stitching or cooking or whatever makeup maybe what products I'm using and all that and then maybe as I go along maybe I'll be able to know what my niche is guys it's getting sunny I think I should wear my sunglasses so sorry I had to change to my sunglasses it was becoming a bit sunny oh guys look at this it's so beautiful really the best things in life are free honestly the air we breathe the ocean you know like we pay money to go and swim in hotels and what and look at this this is a beautiful beautiful free thing and unfortunately for people like some of us who are lucky to have it and we are not using it it's really sad anyways as i was saying yeah i think i should start creating uh, lifestyle vlogs of what I do and then maybe I'll, as I go along maybe I'll be able to know what my niche is what do you guys think if you have any suggestion if you are you uh, uh, an expert content creator who knows tips and tricks maybe you could help out give out your suggestion but I think that's what I'll be doing. So don't, maybe if you see my vlogs in future, don't say, oh my God, she's talking about this, cooking, and the next day she's talking about uh, stitching, and the next day she's talking about what she uses and all that. I know that is <laughs> one of the rules that the YouTubers keep on saying, the ones, the experts and the gurus, the YouTube gurus, they say, do not mix your content look for look for your niche but unfortunately i haven't yet known what my niche is because i'm not an expert i'm not a content creator i was just trying to share my travel vlog if i was honestly being asked what is your niche i would love to say travel because deep in my heart travel is what i love sharing about but then again as i said I can't travel the whole year round so what am I supposed to if I am trying to be a youtuber or a vlogger I can't just rely on traveling because if I'm not traveling these other days what am I supposed to do so yeah I'm a bit in a dilemma but anyway we'll figure it out along the way we'll figure it out i hope so so guys yeah if you are like me by the way and you live on the beach or you live you have an access not only on the beach but you have a way to like walk and you're not a gym fanatic or you you're not into crazy workouts and crossfits and all that just start slow just start slow by walking it doesn't matter it can be 10 20 15 minutes i've been walking now for the past three days and i decided you know what let me incorporate the two let me walk and at the same time to start you know my vlogs because it's been over eight months and i've not posted anything and uh, got a bit busy what what anyways i think we should walk it's a good exercise walking is good it's easier I believe it's much easier walking than you know I believe walking it's much easier than the gym thing and to be honest I don't think I really love I would love to to go to the gym I would love to work out as the way it's supposed to be but I find it a bit tough and challenging I don't know why but I think one step at a time. Yeah, I think if we just commit to one step at a time, maybe, who knows, maybe in future I can do more. So I'll be documenting. And um, I weighed myself 
when I started walking, I was 93.7. Today is my third day. So maybe after 10 days, I'm planning on weighing myself after 10 days. I see if there's any changes. And even if there's no changes, it's okay. Because I've started feeling so... Like my body started to be to loosen up. I, I don't feel the tightness in the knees anymore. And it's just three days. Imagine, guys, that's the difference. Like my body was so so in the morning. Like when I wake up, I just don't feel like getting out of the bed. Like it was so bad. It was really, really bad that I was starting to think, oh my God what's happening to me should i go back to the gym and the thought of just going back to the gym made me even more sick so luckily i thank god that i i have this and decided there's so many people who come here in the morning to exercise and walk and do their things play football volleyball and all that so i'm like you know what let me take advantage of this why not so yeah so that's it guys i'll be documenting i'll be sharing i'll be you know just updating and whatever it is i hope that wherever you are wherever you are you will be part of my journey thank you so much guys if you're not a subscriber kindly subscribe to my channel it's a lifestyle and travel channel I'll I'll be posting whenever I travel my travel vlogs and I'll be sharing my tips as well in whatever I do. Kindly subscribe and be part of my community. Thank you so much. Love you. Ciao. Bye. The water so beautiful. So beautiful, guys. 